disturbing allegations tonight about decades of sexual abuse at a youth detention center in Nova Scotia. It took 11 investigators four years to hear from dozens of potential victims. And there are fears there may be more. CTV's Atlantic Bureau Chief Kristen Ajkate on what Nova Scotia Mounties are calling one of their largest and most complex investigations. Nova Scotia RCMP say more than 70 people allege they were sexually abused while serving time at this youth correctional facility in Waterville, Nova Scotia. Over a time span of almost three decades, between 1988 and as recently as 2017, RCMP believe there are many more victims who have yet to come forward. At this time, we believe there may be more than 200. We are seeking more information and we are very hopeful other survivors will connect with us when they learn about Operation Headwind. Nova Scotia RCMP have launched a confidential hotline to make it easier for victims to reach out. We build a trust with them and they share with us an account of what has happened and, that's, and we take that very seriously. And after the fact, we want to make sure that they, are, that they have the supports that they need. No arrests have been made and police offered no information about a perpetrator. But Mike Dahl, a lawyer who represents three men who have filed a class action lawsuit against the province, alleged they were sexually abused at the same youth centre during the same time window by the facility's swim instructor. This particular um, alleged abuser worked there for, for, for decades and had access to you know, many vulnerable youths in a closed facility. We call it justice once the prison doors are locked. L. Jones is a prisoner advocate who has worked with many of the men who are alleging abuse at the facility. These are children that were in a facility that was supposed to be protecting them and intervening with them and instead abused them. Many of those men have gone on to enter prison as adults. Um, they haven't received any therapy. None of the allegations have been proven in court and the province has denied any negligence, saying the victims did not previously report any abuse. Omar. All right, Creason, thank you.